all the type of businesses that have more traditional bases mm. compared to mm. new businesses and uh, the uh, startups that have a very more energetic culture. Do you think that all the businesses can catch up to this? Because mm. a very good example of this is, for example, Tesla, that mm. uh, they've been able to rapidly expand and uh, develop new technologies that many other companies have lagged behind them. But mm. examples of this can be given in many organizations. Mm. Do you think uh, startups are better situated? I think it probably depends on what kind of startup we are talking about, but, um, but, but whether it's a, s- a startup that is a sort of f- firmly situated in, in, in this sort of digitalization and, and the AI sort of um, type of, of uh, uh, or <laughs> practices, I think then, of course, it's, it's, uh, it's, it they can probably uh, be more agile and, and, and work faster and, and maybe also uh, scale faster, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. Uh, but I think it's it's also a matter of uh, the, I mean we're talking about AI capabilities. So what what capacities do different organizations have to uh, adopt and, and and use AI? I think it, it one shouldn't underestimate uh, the the leadership importance here. Uh, I mean I- in the in the first phases of digitalization and digital transformation, it was mainly handed over to an IT department and an IT manager. And I think it's the same with AI. Maybe if, if it's going to be, if a big organization or a, uh, any type of organization is going to be able to sort of adopt AI and, and maybe scale fast, then, then by necessity it's, it's important that you have some kind of strong leadership behind this. Um, and um, it, it cannot be handed over to single sort of IT department or an IT manager to drive this. It, it's um, it, it must up on a much, much higher level. Uh, can businesses, and this becomes a question of internal businesses, but can businesses take uh, different approaches of trying to create a management team that is thinks about mm. these issues more broadly rather than just mm. it being uh, in the hands of a few uh, IT department leaders? Mm. I think that's a, that's a very good question. What what kind of uh, uh, management support do you need to be able to sort of do this? And, and will it be different in different industries? Yes, probably. Um, I mean, coming back to, well, w- what what is it that is the sort of main driver of certain companies? If you if you look at from that side, whether it's a sort of pressure for sustainability issues then I'm coming back to my idea that maybe then we need to sort of lift up the procurement function much higher into the sort of in, in the organizations alongside with the, the, the sort of management uh, whether it's a let's say a, a consumer market type of, of um, or product related company maybe then the, it, it's much more marketing driven uh, management group that you need to sort of have. So I think it differs depending on what, what kind of, of topics is it that it are important for the company and, and uh, w- what kind of drivers uh, there are. Uh, so I think it's um, uh, it, it depends. It's a simple answer. It depends on, on, on the business. Uh, 